Hello everyone, my name is Jacob Schultz. I'm a recent graduate of the University of Chicago in East Asian Languages and Civilizations. The purpose of these videos is to allow people who don't have any experience at all in a foreign language or limited experience in a foreign language to begin speaking one in as little as 20 minutes. I haven't seen anything like this on YouTube at all, so uh, there's not really much to draw from, but I have developed my own method of, of language acquisition, especially for a Westerner who wants to learn an East Asian language. If you, if you do as these videos say, I guarantee that you will begin to be able to use the language in as little as 20 minutes. So let's, let's begin. To start, let's learn how to say, Hello. This actually means good day, but for the purposes of this video, you'll just know it as hello. Konnichiwa. 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 Konnichiwa means hello or good day. Now you'll learn how to say I. This also means self in some cases. I is watashi. 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 Notice how my pronunciation is very flat, and there's no other emphasis in my voice. That's one of the benefits of learning Japanese as your first East Asian language, because there, aren't, there isn't a lot of emphasis within the language itself. Every sound is equal to every other sound. Watashi. Watashi. So now you know two words. Good day and I. Konnichiwa and Watashi. Now you're going to learn how to say my name. Watashi. That's I or self, but it can also mean mine or my, depending on the situation. So in Japanese, in order to indicate possession or that something belongs to you, you just add no. No. So to, in order to say mine, you just say watashi no, watashi no, and then put the thing after it that belongs to you. So now you know how to say mine, watashi no, watashi no. Now, if you want to say your name, if you want to say the word name, it actually sounds pretty similar to English. It's na ma e na ma e na ma e na ma e So now you had now you know how to say my name Watashi no Watashi no Watashi no na ma e Watashi no na ma e Now you know how to say my name Watashi no namae. And don't forget, you also know how to say good day. Now you're gonna learn how to say, My name is. My name is. Watashi no namae wa. Now, what do you think wa is? You already know that no, it's a small little word called a particle that allows you to indicate what the word does in the sentence. So if I say watashi no namae wa, what does that make you think? I'll give you a moment to think about what that means. I'm not going to tell you what wa means. You're going to intuit it from the sentence. Watashi no namae wa Jacobu. Watashi no namae wa Jacobu des. Watashi no namae wa Jacobu desu. What do you think wa means? 
If you thought that it means is, you're close. But it only means is if des, des, comes at the end of the sentence. You can also think of des as a particle, but it's not, it's not quite that part of speech. Remember, wa and des mean is together. Wa is a topic particle. That's, that's the proper name for wa. Watashi no namae wa Jacob desu. Watashi no namae wa Jacob desu. Watashi no namae wa Jacob desu. How does wa and des make you feel? Do you feel like you can make other sentences out of what I have told you just now? You're right. You can make many more sentences now. All you need to know is one more word, and that is kore. Kore. So, think for a moment how you would say, this is, this is mine. Give it a try. Think about how you might say, this is mine. Book. Book is hon. Ho n. Think about how you might say, this is my book. I think you probably almost got it right, if not completely. To say, this is my book, you just say, Kore wa watashi no hon. You already know what all those words mean, and it hasn't really been that long. Kore wa watashi no hon desu. Kore wa watashi no hon desu. Kore wa watashi no hon desu. This is my book. Now you know how to say quite a few things in Japanese already. Let's go over the words we've learned. Hello, my name is Jacob. Konnichiwa. Watashi no namae wa Jacob desu. Konnichiwa. Watashi no namae wa Jacob desu. This is my book. Kore wa watashi no hon desu. Kore wa watashi no hon And if you add on just one more word, a very similar word to one you already know, you can say, this, is, this book is mine. This book is mine. And that word is kono. Kono. Think about the words you already know and how kono might be related to them. You already know kore and no. Well, it turns out that the ko of kore indicates that something is near to you, just that ko. And that no is the very same no that you've already learned which indicates possessive. So if you want to say the book that's right here, this, the book that's right here, this book, this book that you might be pointing to that's right in front of you, all you say is kono hon, kono hon. And now you know how to say this book is my book or this book is mine. Let's start out with, this book is my book, because you already know how to say this. Kono hon wa. That means, as for this book, right? 
because it has that wa particle in there that comes after konohon. Konohon wa watashi no hon desu. Konohon wa watashi no hon desu. Kono ko kono konohon. Konohon. Konohon wa watashi no hon desu. Konohon wa watashi no hon desu. Kono hon wa watashi no hon desu. Kono hon wa watashi no hon desu. One more time. Kono hon wa watashi no hon desu. Surely there's an easier way to say that. Well, there is. But it's only slightly different. You can just say, Kono hon wa watashi no desu. Kono hon wa watashi no desu. Kono hon wa watashi no hon desu. Kono hon wa watashi no desu. Notice the difference. Think about what that difference means. What is the difference between those two sentences? Well, in the second one, hon has been taken out. You don't need to say it again. That's because the no that comes before the des indicates that it is yours. Kono hon wa watashi no hon desu. This book is my book. Kono hon wa watashi no desu. This book is mine. Think about the difference between these two sentences. Create your own meaning for how you feel that they're different. Kono namae, kono namae, kono namae, this name. Kono namae wa watashi no desu. This name is mine. Jacobu, 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 kono namae wa watashi no desu. Jacob, this name is mine. Kono namae wa watashi no namae desu. Kono namae wa watashi no namae desu. Kono namae wa watashi no namae desu. The wa in watashi and the wa that are wa particles, as you can see from the examples I've shown, is not the same wa, but the sounds are identical. For the purposes of this first video, do not worry about the difference between them, only that they are. Finally, you are going to learn how to say, what is your name? Usually you would be taught that anata means you, and that it's important for learning how to ask, what is your name? But I'm going to teach you how people usually ask, what is your name? In Japanese, people tend to avoid using the word for you because it's considered rude or impolite. So all you need to do is learn one new word. And that is nan. Nan. Na n. Na n. O namae wa nan desu ka? 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 What do you think o is? O namae wa nan desu ka? What do you think o is? And what do you think ka is? O namae wa nan desu ka? O namae wa nan desu ka? O namae wa nan desu ka? Well, it turns out that o, when added to the beginning of nouns, makes it sound nicer. This allows you to ask what someone else's name is. And ka 
Ka indicates that the sentence that came before it is a question. And it's pretty convenient because it allows you to make the sentence in its entirety a question. You don't need to worry about a question mark. All you do is add ka to the end of the sentence. O namae wa nan desu ka? What is your name? O namae wa nan desu ka? Don't forget. Namae. Wa. And this. O namae wa nan desu ka? O namae wa nan desu ka? Now let's review. At this point, you can carry out a short conversation, and it has only been 20 minutes. Konnichiwa. Watashi no namae wa Jacob desu. O namae wa nan desu ka? Hello, my name is Jacob. What is your name? Konnichiwa. Watashi no namae wa Jacob desu. O namae wa nan desu ka? Konnichiwa. Watashi no namae wa Jacob desu. O namae wa nan desu ka? Konnichiwa. Watashi no namae wa Jacob desu. O namae wa nan desu ka? Let's review the words we've learned. There really haven't been that many. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Watashi. Namae. Nan. Kore. And kono. And let's review the particles that you've learned. These are very important because they allow you to expand on what you've already learned. Wa. Wa. Wa is the topic particle. Wa is the topic particle. I'm not going to tell you what that means. You're going to think about it for yourself. Wa. No. No is the possessive particle. And ka. Ka is the question or interrogative particle. Now you can start speaking Japanese. Don't forget that you know how to say book as well. In the next lesson, I'm going to teach you how to use more nouns and slightly more complicated grammar. But the lesson will also only be 20 minutes long. Thanks for viewing, and please remember to leave comments. I, this, this teaching method is experimental, and I'm really looking forward to seeing how people do with it. And if these videos become popular enough, I'll be doing, I'll be doing Google, Hangout, uh, Google Hangout tutorials if, uh, if people would like them. And these would be live sessions where you could ask me questions about uh, lesson videos that I post in.